Hello friends, welcome back. This is Madan again. In this demo, we are going to learn what is area and how we can use area in ASP.NET Core MVC application. So answering the question what is area, the area provides a way to partition our ASP.NET Core MVC application into a smaller functional unit. So it uh, it is nothing but just the structure that we can use in our project and if we have a multiple functionally independent uh, components in our application then we can put that into a different areas for instance if we have an e-commerce applications and we need to work on the uh, functions such as checkout billing and search then we can put uh, each individual components into their own area so that the individual areas can be worked on separately for instance if we divide checkout billing and search into different three areas then the different persons can work uh, on those areas independent of each other and uh, area can have their own controllers, views uh, and models and other things as well so here I have opened the project that we used in our previous demos which is generic repo demo and I have added three links here on the index page on the index view of the home controller the inventory billing and checkout and this button doesn't do anything here so let's add area in our project and see how that looks and works so for first place we're gonna need to add the folder called areas so let's add areas after then now we can add our areas here so let's create a new folder for each area let's say we have a billing area billing and let's say we have a and inventory and another area for checkout so we have three areas here now each areas can have their own controller razor views and models so let's add one simple controller in billing folder here so new file oops uh, let's cancel this billing let's add folder for controller so CLTRL controllers and uh, inside that let's add a controller called BLL ING billing CL billing controller dot CS let's create that class name space Public class. I copied the name which inherits from the controller base class. Controller. Let's save this. And let's create action here. Public values. Action user. Index. Which will return a view. So let's do the same thing for checkout and inventory. So let's, I'm just gonna copy this here. Copy and then paste inside the checkout. Paste inside inventory and let's change the name of the controller here. Rename given to checkout. See if it here. Checkout controller and let's change this checkout controller and same thing for here inventory controller inventory controller let's save this we need to bring in here the namespace for controller so I'm gonna go here and look for that so what is the namespace Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC. Let's copy this. So we have 
corresponding controller for each areas and let's add a model for your model new folder models and uh, we can add models here and we can create the views here as well so let's add another folder here new folder views and inside the views we create we need to create a billing folder new folder bl billing and we need to create the index action for billing so new file index.cs html and now let's let's create a simple markup here and say billing home now i'm going to copy this view here copy and paste that for say count right click right click and paste so we have views here and let's rename this to checkout for uh, checkout Let's rename this to checkout for checkout controller. And create a view index.cs html. We, we already got an index view, so let's change this to checkout chcck with checkout home. And we do the same thing for inventory as well. Inventory, and we paste that folder here. Views. We change this to inventory. Inventory for inventory controller. So now we have three areas billing with your own controller models, views, and we can also put repositories and other things here. And for checkout we have controller views and for inventory we have controllers and views and so in this way we can divide our project applications into separate logically independent modules and each modules can be worked on independently so now we have created the areas here so what we need to do is we need to go over and we need to add a routing here so area and we need to give the name of the area so our area name is billing let's save this and for checkout so go to our controller and give it, we need to give it the attribute here area and the name of the area is CSS security checkout so for this checkout save this and for our inventory controller so every controller you create you need to do this area our area is inventory this helps ASP.NET core routing engine to find out our uh, areas so with this we need to do one more thing here go to startup and then we need to add a route for our area so let's copy this Let's paste and let's create name this area routes. You can give any name here area route and then we need to add here area and then slash controller and let's make a default controller uh, for our area to billing yeah, billing and index action let's save this one more thing let's build our project build. so everything looks fine so here I have run the open the project. Let's shut down and restart it again. 
we need to do that because we have added the new files and folders here after we started the project so we got one error here we started the series Let's build the project again. Seventy three. Build it. It looks fine and our server has started so let's go to the browser let's try to navigate to that area so we have a building area and inside the building area we have a building controller inside which we have a window section so here we can see the build home let's try to click on this button so this is not working build home it's okay Check out, check out, and inventory. There looks some problem with inventory. So we have inventory, and then inventory controller. Inventory. Let's try to navigate to that area as well. So we have inventory area inside which we have inventory controller and with index action. So it looks like inventory controller. We need to change it to inventory. Let's set this and let's go to our links on the home page index. And uh, in order to route to the areas, we need to add another ASP route parameter, ASP area, and we need to give it a name, IMDEMTORF inventory. So here, index, this link is pointing to the billing area and billing controller with index action. So if we navigate, if we click on this link, then we go to the index action of the billing controller in billing area. So refresh and let's go back to our home and let's try inventory so it has navigated successfully to inventory area building area and checkout area of course we don't see the layout here so in order to share the common layout which we see here what we need to do is we need to move our view start dot cshtml file into the root folder of the project so this is our view start uh, let's move this to our root folder so let's drag it keep it here so we have moved our view start here so which is at the root of the project so we need to restart the project once Let's try to refresh and see if that works or not. So when I click on inventory, then we see the same layout. Click on billing. We have navigated to our billing area, but we still see the common layout. Check out and check out. So this way you can divide your functionally independent and large applications into uh, smaller uh, uh, components and put that into area. So this uh, helps to make our project uh, simpler and uh, it also helps us to work uh, uh, individually independently on the different area at the same time so this is it. this is it for now friends thanks for watching and have a good day